Hi everyone, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2017 model review. And today we will be looking at sport car, some forklifts, and some cat skid steers. <music> Up first we have this yellow Audi R8 which is converted from FS15. This looks like a very cool car. It has a V10 engine and it is a convertible. Looks very nice. Has some great detail. And this is not color changeable. I wish it was because it would be a great car to drive. And it does have some dual exhaust. So let's start this up. This has a top speed of 76 miles an hour. Very fast. Has working lights. And one of the cool features about this is you could actually see the headlight beams which is very cool. We'll take this four spin and see how this handles and first off it's kinda hard to turn at high rates of speeds and it likes to drift just a little so it could be an influence from the older game since it liked to drift in that but overall this looks like a very cool car and I'm very excited that we have some awesome super cars if you would say coming into this game that were converted and some are even new which is awesome. So up next we have a large list of very cool forklifts and some stuff like that but before that we do have a bike motorcycle if you would want to say it looks very cool right over here this is awesome and has some great detail I really do like the engine the spokes on the tires it looks awesome so we'll start this up we'll check out the lights does have working lights which is awesome this thing looks very cool and I'm not sure if this is exactly for an off-road so let me know in the comments, do you think this would do well on the off-road? Let me know. But this goes 41 miles per hour. And one of the big differences I see in this is that it doesn't lean into the turns like you would on a regular motorcycle. But we do have a dirt bike in this game that leans a little too much. So I kind of like this a lot. It does take a little bit longer to turn. But this looks very cool. And it's perfect for just driving to a farm and back and doing cool stuff like this and it does have a pretty cool first person use with some gauges that do not work though but overall I would recommend this if you really do like to drive a motorcycle in this game but the turning might need some improvement and up next guys we have a large list of forklifts here so up first is the Toyota forklift it's the smallest one out of today this is the in-game telehandler fork it doesn't come with one but we'll start this up now this does have working lights and it looks like the lights are like hazard lights something like that but this is pretty cool we'll test these out it goes pretty high it does lean back and uh, goes forward which is awesome easy and this thing goes a top speed of 12 miles per hour and this is color changeable we'll also check out the first person view pretty awesome view you do get to see the controls with working mirrors also this thing looks very nice awesome detail overall and you also do have a view of here and this is probably one of my favorite views that you can get on a forklift but this thing turns very well and I was going to use this but you guys will see in the next one why the other one is so good we'll hop in now this is probably like I would say almost the medium or the largest these two are the largest this one has a bigger size but this one does have some pretty cool features we'll be looking at this this is the Clark one does have a full cab if you would say the other ones just have a roll cage protection cage if you would say this comes with forks and I'll show you guys why this is probably a very good one for you all we'll start this up does have working lights overall looks very cool reverse lights now on the interior you guys can see when you do have the lights on it shows them working mirrors the mirrors are a little too small but I really do like this view especially if you like hook a plow up to us and use it for plowing snow it is very realistic now you do get a camera view just when you go back and forth there's a piece that gets in the way now one of the coolest features about this is it does have a very cool uh, realistic speed for going up and down if you would say but the best feature is how these move in and uh, say you have a small pallet like this, or you even can attach a trailer. I know that there's an attachment that you can put on this, and then just move a trailer around the yard. But this, if you have a small pallet like this, or a really large like lumber, you could do it like this. Very awesome feature. Very glad that we have this. 
and I did use this in a video if you guys would like to check those out. I did some delivering videos and I used this. This also has a top speed of 18 miles per hour. It's a few miles per hour faster than the other one. Now up next is this one here. This one, I'm not sure exactly what the brand name is, but this looks very cool. This is like the one you would see at like a lumber yard. Looks awesome. Really do like the detail. And all these were converted from FS15, but this one looks awesome. We'll start it up, take a look at the lights. All the lights work, and probably one of the biggest features about this is its turning radius. It's almost like a 360 turning radius instead of like what it usually is. So before we check out the the forks, it does go up, it does lean back a lot, and it does lean forward a lot, uh, and an extreme lot. So I mean, it is very helpful, and it does have a pretty awesome first person view, working mirrors, and overall awesome. So before we attach to it, it does come with three forks. Now this is a separate download, this, and then these come in a RAR, and then you have to unzip it and drag three of these into your mods folder. This is a very long one, medium size, and then the short one. I really do enjoy using this one because I like to be productive, put three or four pallets on if it's realistic and it can handle it. But this is for the smaller ones, so we'll just hook up to one and see how it does. They all hook up, which is awesome. So we'll lower this down, and I think we'll put it like this. So that is a long fork, guys. You could, like, lift up a truck with this thing. That is big. So up next, guys, we will be looking at this cat pack. This cat pack is a pretty cool pack. I really do like this. I believe these are new to farming sim. If not, they were definitely converted. But let me know in the comments on that. And this one comes with, a. Uh, chains on the tires for working in the snow, glass, a cage, almost a mesh, and I really am liking this. It does also come with wheel chocks, so every time you are not in it, it puts wheel chocks so that you don't have to rely on the brakes for you if they don't work. So we'll start this up. Now we'll take a look at the first person view. It has a pretty nice view, but this glass does seem to move a little. But uh, we'll see about that. Whoa, it does have many different camera views. We'll just check out the lights really fast. So the turning signals are up above and the other ones are down below. That's awesome. Now one of the things about this that it's not sure exactly why is it rocks back and forth. I think it is something with the physics. If that is fixed, I feel like this would be a great skid steer to use. But yes, this is awesome. It does go all the way up, which is very cool. I think I'm going to be using this soon, so let me know in the comments, guys, if you would like me to use this in my next video that requires me to use a skid steer. Now, it does come with three of its own attachments. It comes with a bucket, almost like a plow, which I believe this is also a leveler, and a jackhammer. I'm not sure if this will work. We will definitely see if they work. And if you get out, guys, they show up here, and nothing shows up up above. And then when you get in, they show up. So as you guys can see, they show up. And the glass goes down. That is also very cool. So it acts as like a working door. And you guys can see an air freshener in the back. So let's hook up to this uh, bucket and see if it has anything special. So it looks like a very cool bucket. I'm very excited that we have a bucket like this. Looks awesome. And it does match the Caterpillar uh, skid steer. That's awesome. So hopefully this works like any other bucket, but up next is this leveler, almost like a snow pile. That's what I was thinking. Open window. You could open the window, guys. Look at that. I learned something new even after using this in my single player games, but this thing is awesome. This one right here. It is a plow. It is a bit heavy, actually. It does kind of... I thought it was going to stop the rocking, but it doesn't. You could turn it back and forth, and it goes up and down. Yeah, that's awesome. I really do like this feature. But, like I said, I'm not sure about the rocking or if there's a fix to it. That would be awesome because I would definitely use this. And this is the Cat 262B. It has a top speed of 13 miles per hour. We'll check out this. I feel like this is more of an accessory. You can actually hear it. Like, it wants to definitely, like break something like the jackhammer sound we will just see really quick does it have any uh thing when you go to dirt let's see 
Because if it did, it would definitely try to destroy it. Yeah, so I'm thinking that that's just for the show. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. If you do have any cool mods you would like me to do a review on, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.